Hey, Jody, darling. Oh, it's good to see you both. Hey, Grandma. Oh. Hey, Dad, do you want me to come back for those? Go ahead, I can get the rest. I can't tell you how much we've missed you. Oh, we're gonna have a great summer. We missed you, too. Hey, Grandpa Kurt, can we go catch some frogs tonight? I was supposed to get some rain later on. We'll do it another time. You got the whole summer for frog catching. <laughs> I like those frogs. You shouldn't catch them, because if you do, the scarecrows might just end up catching you. What's with Stanley? Come on, let's get inside before the rain starts. Everyone in. Yeah, come on. Here we go. Why does it have to pour the first night we get here? I wanted to get some frogs. Go to sleep. The rain should be gone by morning. I'm not tired. Well, the sooner you get to bed, the sooner you get to wake up for breakfast. And you know what that means. Chocolate chip pancakes. Are you sure? Are you sure you locked the doors? I told you, but they're locked. The windows. Did you bolt them shut? Yes, the windows, too. Come on, now. It's just the wind. That's the only reason it's not out there. It's just been blown off its post. Come on. Pancakes. I'm afraid. I'm afraid I've forgot to buy chocolate chips. Hi, Stanley. A scarecrow walks at midnight. Stanley, are you confused again? No, I'm just telling you. I made him walk one time. You made him walk? Sure enough. I did it once last month, then again about a week before you got here. Stanley, the scarecrow can't walk. They're not alive. Hey! <laughs> oh. You city kids, you're scary. Sticks, that's not funny. Jody? Mark! Grandma's gonna get lunch on soon. Ooh, lunch. Not afraid of that too, are you? Come on, Jody. 
Hey, this isn't any place for city kids. You two should have never come out here. Jody. Mm-hmm. Are things different around here, or is it just me? I was thinking the same thing. What's up with that cereal? Grandma's never forgotten to buy chocolate chips before, ever. I'm not even gonna ask Grandpa if I can ride the thresher. He'd just say no. And Stanley, he's acting kind of strange, even for Stanley. Maybe Grandpa's working him too hard. Maybe it's just us. Ready for lights out? Yeah. What? Scarecrows, they're moving! Mark, I'm tired. No, seriously, I'm not lying. It's just the wind. Are you sure? You're letting Stanley get to you. You heard what he said. The scarecrow walks at midnight. That makes no more sense than the time he said pigeons like their toenails polished. Remember that one? Mark, we both know Stanley's a little slow. Sometimes he says things he doesn't mean. Things that make no sense at all. Maybe you're Here, mind my own business. Yeah, right. I know you're just trying to scare me, Sticks. It's not funny. Don't know what you're talking about. You pull this junk every time we come to visit. You're always trying to scare us. Oh, well, I haven't been anywhere near you. I've been up here working all morning. Well, you're not fooling anyone. I know it was you on the field, okay? Just knock it off! Hey, I told you this ain't no place for city kids. You better just turn around and go home before it's too late. That sure was a fine supper. Better get Grandma to let these trousers out if I'm going to keep eating like this. <laughs> Everyone help yourselves. Cherry, I don't get it. We always have apple. Yeah, it's Grandpa Kurt's favorite. Cherry's my favorite. Ch Cherry's a... It's a nice change. Hey, Grandpa, how about a story? 
Yeah, I've been waiting all year to hear one of Grandpa Kurt's stories. Make it a good terrifying Yeah, one. real scary. <laughs> all right, now let me think. I don't like those stories. They make me scared. Sorry, I'm not. I mean, a lot of stories. Imagination's working overtime. Yes. Race to the screen. It's a matter, Mark. You're not gonna let a girl beat you, are you? I'm gonna win. I'm gonna. That's not very nice. He threw a scarecrow at us. Jody, he wouldn't do anything to hurt you. Oh, wouldn't do anything to hurt us, huh? Come on, we better get you back to the house. Leave the bikes. I'll get them later. I'm gonna get you, Sticks. Nothing personal. Just jump out at him. Play with him for a bit first. You know, like, rustle your stocks. Stuff like that. OK, I'm going to go get sticks. You stay here, get ready, and think scary. <laughs> My dad, he found this book full of spells. He thought it'd be cool if the scarecrows were alive so they could really keep the birds off the crops. That way, he wouldn't have to work so hard. Yeah, well, they came alive all right. Except it wasn't the crows they wanted to scare. Well, do my grandparents know? We all know. Kurt and Miriam begged him to put them back to sleep, and he did, only, only after they agreed to do things his way for a while. Stanley did that? Jody. You know my dad, he's not mean, it's just... Well, it's just he's been a farmhand his entire life. He just wanted to see what it was like to have things done his way for a while. He, he loves your grandparents, you know him. It's just, it's just sometimes he's so confused. If you put them all back to sleep, how come they're still walking around? As I can figure on it, not all of them went back to sleep. I, I didn't tell dad, though, he's scared of them. 
Besides, I, I, don't, I don't want to fool him with magic no more. Dad! <sighs> Well, how are we gonna do that? I don't know. I don't know, but we'll find a way, okay, Dad? Come on. It's up here again. Hello, Trespatisma. Fiolo Putrasa is up here again. Hello, Trespatisma. Just all awake again. What are we gonna do? I don't know. I don't know. I gotta think. Okay. There go. I got to ride the after all. It sure is nice. Everything's back to normal around here. <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs>